sorry guys that's what i was saying so basically you know y'all wasn't trying to talk to this man at all y'all wasn't trying to calm the situation down y'all shot to kill this man so yeah if i was his family i would be protesting too because that's homicide y'all took this man away from his kids he had three kids and i hope one day i hope never that his kids got to get onto like TMZ or YouTube or anything and see their father gunned down like that. That shit just don't make no sense. Like, it's already so much already going on with this pandemic. Clearly this man, you know, he was struggling with mental health issues and probably couldn't get to his medication or because doctors is actually... <clears throat> doctors is not you know prescribing like medications like that for real i mean maybe if he already had um a refill on his prescription then you know the the pharmacy might have could have contacted the doctor and see if you know he had refills or however but sometimes you know the doctor want to see you before they even give you a refill for prescription that type of medicine anyway, he probably was taking like, you know, anxiety medicine or something for like depression or something like that. And sometimes being as though it's been a pandemic going on, the doctors is only taking patients like over the phone, like on like FaceTime, like Zoom and FaceTime and FaceTime apps and stuff like that. So sometimes they, they might say that you might have to wait a little while till the pandemic is over or until they open up. <clears throat> so they open up the states again to see your actual primary doctor before you can get, you know, the prescriptions that you needed. Or he might have didn't have no health insurance at all. You never know, you know. But I'm just saying, you could tell if you swing, if you swing in a bed when somebody, when people is walking in through the interest way of Walmart, that means that this man was, you know, suffering from, bipolar or something and they said the family said he has schizophrenia and bipolar depression and he probably couldn't see his doctor or the doctor like i said didn't want to prescribe that type of medication to you know she check him out and see him first before she give out another refill because sometimes doctors do that sometimes they might prescribe it over the phone and send it to your pharmacy but sometimes they might say no they got to see you first and so this man probably was out of his medication and you know it's not his fault if he has mental health issues so for y'all to sit right there and take this man out like that like he was like an animal like he was like That shit just really, it just really pisses me off. And I hope they get everything that they deserve. Please don't let them get off like this. Please don't let them get away with murder. They, they killed this man in cold blood in front of all these people. They didn't even care that it was so many witnesses. It was kids running around in a Walmart. It was so many people in there. The witnesses were saying, please don't kill him. Stop shooting. Please stop shooting him. You heard the baseball bat drop to the ground. He was no threat to y'all. But y'all still, y'all just wanted to take a life. So I hope if y'all do go to jail, I hope somebody take y'all fucking life. An eye for an eye. Please like, share, and subscribe to my video. Get this video a thumbs up. Now I'll see y'all on the next. Bye.